focus on commodities, specifically the transitional eastern government in Libya. It's decided, apparently, to stop dealing with Qatari petroleum companies as Arab sanctions uh, against Doha do continue. Now, the leader of the Libyan National Army, Khalifa Haftar, was the first to accuse Qatar of supporting terrorist organizations in his country ahead of the ongoing blockade. On Wednesday, the Prime Minister of the Libyan Eastern National Transitional Government, Abdullah Thanay, has officially informed the country's national oil company to freeze its contract with Glencore, a Swiss-based commodity trade company. Al Thanay indicated that Qatar is a shareholder of the company and that both his government and the Libyan National Army agreed to stop dealing with companies linked to the country. Both Al Thanay and General Haftar have accused Qatar of supporting terrorist organizations in Libya. Qatar only owns 8.5% of Glencore, but Libyan Eastern leaders claim it's been using its influence to control the sales of Libyan crude oil. The rival government in the west of the country has, however, disagreed with the Eastern claims. They say that Glencore has been efficient in selling all excess of the Masala and Sarir blend that surpassed the capacity of local refineries. The Eastern authorities control what is known as the Oil Crescent in Libya, where the country's biggest oil fields are. Glencore was the first company to be named as Libya escalates its steps against Qatar. More companies may be affected after Wednesday's decision. Qatar is a strong supporter of the Muslim Brotherhood and other Islamist groups in Western Libya. They are rivals of the Eastern government, which is backed by Egypt, UAE and Saudi Arabia. They are the same countries that have led a diplomatic rift and economic blockade against Doha. Adil Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo.